SEC versus Sunbelt game in Baton Rouge. And I've heard that you cannot say that as just Baton Rouge. You have to put the accent on it. So Baton Rouge is where the Tigers of LSU are going to be hosting the South Alabama Jaguars. And LSU favored by 21.5, total of 65.5 on this one. And go ahead and pull up what our best number is on that. Yeah, I see what I got here. Okay. So this LSU offense is legit. The South Alabama defense can't stop the pass. They're number 103 in PPA per pass allowed. Uh, LSU is number 11 in passing success rate. South Alabama number 124. But when it comes to running the ball, which LSU is only doing about 30, yeah, we'll say 38% of the time, um, that's what South Alabama is good at defending. They can actually stop the run. They're number 24 in rushing success rate allowed, number 45 in PPA per rush. But LSU wants to throw the ball. They want to get it to their athletes, and South Alabama cannot stop that. Now, South Alabama is number 16 in PPA margin right now, partially because their offense is so good. So we'll get down here. This LSU defense is still garbage. They are still trash. I mean, it's absurd. Blake Baker came in, and nothing looks different. Now, part of this might be the fact that the secondary is not very good because they keep having to bring in transfers and whatnot. They haven't been able to develop a secondary yet. And when it comes to, you know, the defensive line and whatnot, I, I don't feel strongly about that. Now you don't have Harold Perkins. Not that he is worth a ton anyway. He only had one and a half tackles for loss on the season. Uh, and it's not like they've played the best of competition, right? But you look at this, and, you know, both teams' penalties per game, number 103 and number 107 is what it is. Uh, PPA per pass on defense for LSU is number 111. Uh, they are number 119 in passing success rate allowed. Uh, South Alabama is number 19 and number 15 in those passing. As far as running the ball, South Alabama number 5 PPA per rush, number 3 in rushing success rate, and they can be explosive in uh, running the football, number 21. Gio Lopez, the quarterback for South Alabama, is legit. He's awesome. He can throw it. He can run it. Uh, whatever you want to give up to him, that's what he's going to do. So uh, when it comes to this number, which is – it, you know, LSU was favored by 24, 24 and a half against UCLA, and then that number came crashing down to 21, and then UCLA still covered. South Alabama, actually pretty good. Now, granted, their current strength of schedule is kind of garbage. They're number 128. I, I think LSU puts up plenty of points here, but I also believe that South Alabama puts up some points, and I think that the number that I got here is 22 and a half. Uh, you can get a 22 and a half at... Da -da -da -da. Well, where is this? Bet MGM. So 22 and a half. I will take South Alabama to keep within three touchdowns here uh, or keep it to around three touchdowns uh, because I think that South Alabama is going to put some points on the board. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me Gary at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.